taking in th three million a month. And, and Wait, you were making three million a month? Yes. And then I, and then I said, as I became a magician. I'm Paul Fiesian. We're at my office up in Beverly Hills on the penthouse with a great view of the whole city outside. How did you come about having this penthouse? Uh, well, I've had so many offices over the years. I started out with a small office and ended up renting more. And be before long, I rented a whole floor and I rented to other attorneys. And I had so many offices all over the country. I was in 26 states. I had 10,000 tenants and making millions, taking in three million a month until the market crashed. But now I'm a magician. What do you like better? I like being a magician. Still the two of diamonds, and then when you rub this one, there's another one. <laughs> oh. I also was an attorney for almost 50 years. I gave that up when my magic became so good. Okay, so where are we now? We're in the penthouse of a beautiful area. The Hollywood Hills, where I used to have a huge home with a pool and beautiful girls and cool people all over every Friday or Saturday night. Other than the, uh, the virus uh, that we have, I was doing five to ten shows every week. Do you miss being a real estate entrepreneur? Not really, because that's hard work. You want to take me inside and show me around? Yes. Okay. Let me show you the most interesting article. In 1971, when the internet had not even existed, and everyone used to read the LA Times before the internet. LA Times had an article about me on December 1, 1971 called The Fig Life, One Big Party After Another. And so this was the most celebrated article I've ever had, and, but it made me an overnight celebrity that almost everyone in Los Angeles or people from all over the country that read that article. And then the Herald Examiner was a smaller paper. Paul, you look like a hippie. I was a hippie back then because the girls liked guys with long hair, and so I had that's how I look like. You almost look like Russell Brand there. Yeah, they call it, it's called the Merchants, the Merchant of Sweet. And there was a, a magazine called the Lawyer Magazine where they did a story about my, my office. This is a huge office. This office here, you can see the chair is the size of it. This is only half of the office. Now we just have some little chairs, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. I'm happy I'm happy today without all the pressure. I enjoy doing magic magic and I enjoy entertaining people. This, this here's a picture of I had two different brochures. Here's one of them, the Fijian Suite. These are the libraries, these are offices. This is one of my offices in Costa Mesa. There was like 75 offices on the, on the one floor. So now they do it all the time. People copy me. Everyone's copying me. How'd you come up with the idea of Beach and Suites? So I started handling a couple of accident cases and before long I've got a lot of them. I had like 10 or 15 and, and so I had to quit the agency and look for a nice office. There were not any nice offices and, and then I found another office that I'd rent from. There was like six guys and I took it over. Even before long I had almost a whole floor and the, the one on Beverly Drive in Wilshire <clears throat> was opening and I figured I'd go there and I asked them how much the rent was and, I'm, and I signed up and they said they'll only let me take the, the floor if I give double deposit and if I'm not three quarters rented I forfeit my money and I said fine. By the time the floor was built I was almost 100% leased and that was my first lawsuit and then 
everyone was success. There was articles about me until the market crashed in 1983. But it was a good experience because I worked so hard and then I, and then I said as I became a magician uh, and, and, and uh, I'm happy to advertise me as an attorney. I gave this out to, I sent this to 5,000 people. Wow. These are my personal friends. Yes. That is so cool. I hope to get one of those one day. <laughs> Man, that's hilarious, Paul. You've got your own pog. That's, that's, that's for you. No yeah, way. Well, that's for you. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh my God, thank you. Yes. This is so incredible. It is. I was taking in th three million a month. And, and Wait, you were making three million a month? Yes. That's three, well, I had uh, over 10,000 tenants. Wow, you probably were the biggest landlord. I was the, the subtenant landlord in the world. Yeah. Yes, I created the concept of, of shared space. Yeah. Now, now they all work. Now we work. They all work. Right. But people don't realize you were in. There was barristers. Remember barristers? Yes. yes. But you know, at the end of the day, how would you have done it differently? I wouldn't have. No, I'm following you. Can you do a card trick with me? Sure. Name a card. Five of clubs. Are you right or left handed? Right handed. Can you right hand? Oh, I can't get the five of clubs. Which hand do you want it in? My right hand. Sorry, it's in my left hand. <laughs> oh, nice. Watch. You get the point? The point? What's the point? The, what's what's the, the point of it? The five of clubs, right? Yeah. But if you put, if you put a, if you take if you put a point there, watch this. If you put a point there, point there, point there, point there, and point there, it becomes the five points. Wow. And I'm gonna give you one of my I'm gonna give you one of my business cards. Does it have the five points? Is that your card? That is. There's the five, five of, clubs the and five, five spades. Five of spades. That's for that. you because I made you say that card. Yeah, he totally did. This. Look at that. <laughs> Paul said five of clubs. I said five of clubs. I know, but you got the boat because yeah. I, got, I changed it from the five of clubs to the five of spades. Wow, Paul, that's amazing. Here, name, name another card. Two of diamonds. <clears throat> Are you right left handed? I, I'm right handed, but here's my left. Hold the deck. In my pocket, I have one card. Which one do you want? The one with the cat. And when you take the one with the cat and you turn it over, it's the two of diamonds. <laughs> and if, and no, just rub it. And if I here, and if I rub it on this card. Still the two of diamonds, and then when you rub this one, there's another two of diamonds. <laughs> oh. Fig, how do you want to be remembered? I want to be remembered for all of the wonderful things I've done for people, and by being unique, people should never feel unwanted. People should want to be feel want to feel loved by being unique. In a good way, I'm loved by many, by most people. If I can make someone smile, it makes me smile inside and outside. And I love entertaining, I just can't help it.